What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So we got a pretty cool video for you guys today. We're gonna do a real quick intro and just get right to it. But first, if you guys have not seen the previous video, please click the link above. Go see the previous video where this is gonna ruin that. So if you haven't seen it yet, go up there and do that. For those of you that have seen the video, I talked about buying my dream car, which is a 1969 Camaro. I have it right here behind me and we are going to my parents' house and I'm gonna surprise my dad. My mom already knows about it but my dad has no idea that I bought this car, no idea that I was even looking to get this car. He knows that obviously it's one of my favorite cars and I eventually wanted to get one, but he hasn't seen a road in one of these cars really since he owned it back in the day. I mean, he bought his first car when he was 20 and it was a 69 Camaro SS 396. So we're gonna go over to my parents' house. We're gonna surprise my dad with the new car and well i should say classic car because <laughs> it's not really new but uh we're gonna surprise him with that and then we're gonna take him for a ride and i'm gonna let him drive it so i got my uh kgb agent vlad here to ride along with In me my Ye your yeetzies oh my god Yeetzies. vlad is going to be taking photo footage of the car while um well basically photo footage of the surprise so oh boy you know, it's the first time you rode in it. First time I ever rode Dude, in a you're classic. Riding in it, you're riding in it before my freaking dad's riding in it. You, you, you are special. Yes. Real special. <laughs> you're popping my classic car cherry virginity, whatever you want to call it. Oh, am I? Yeah, I've never ridden it in a classic, classic car. car cherry. Yeah. Man, this thing's slow. I know, it's so slow. I'm full throttle right now. <laughs> That's how slow it is. Psych. <laughs> What's that? Of me going wee. Wee to the GoPro. Yeah, recording it too. I was gonna tell my mom, I was gonna say, hey, uh, I'm, I'm coming over, so make sure dad's outside, but I'm just gonna show up to their house in the driveway and just have them come out. Like, yeah. no idea, you know? So we actually convinced my parents where I was yesterday because they wondered where I was the whole day. My, my girlfriend, Lauren, went over to their house to bake cookies. And they're like, well, where's Nick? Where's Nick? Well, I was getting this car. I didn't want my dad to know about it. So we actually told them that I was going to get a car for Vlad, since Vlad was with us, and that, I, <laughs> that he bought a 79 Z28, because that's what you want. You like that body style. Yeah. He, wants a, he wants a second gen Camaro that he's gonna do all sorts of I'm not even gonna say it, but maybe he'll get the car and uh, he'll that'll be this car on his uh, on his channel. Well, you don't even have a channel, do you? Oh, no. Well, you're about to make one if you get that car. That's all I gotta say. Nah, dude, I'm gonna get so much hate. <laughs> no, <laughs> not originally. You won't get hate once you buy the car, but what you're gonna do, you might get some hate. All your fans are gonna come over and just start like disliking my videos, recording them. Well, that's what slobs <laughs> do to their cars. <laughs> So here we are pulling up to my parents' house right now. They are not outside, so I'm gonna go knock on the door and I hope they don't hear the car. They shouldn't, it's quiet enough. They shouldn't even hear the car. Hey. hey. What's up? Get your off. It's not that cold outside. It's cool. I gotta, I gotta set my time right cookies in the oven. Oh boy. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. 69 Camaro. Yeah, is. Isn't it the same car you showed me last night? It <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Nowhere close. Hi, Vlad. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that, baby. Woo. God. Man, oh, days. Oh, my God. So, this what, is this what you went up New York for? Yeah. That's what, that's where we were yesterday. I was gonna say that story. We weren't there. We weren't getting a lot of car. Because I was looking at I was looking at second gens, but yeah. Oh my God! This is Beautiful. obviously has been totally yeah, it has. restored. Yeah. The paint job is incredible. Oh man, it looks just like my car except for the steering wheel. Yeah. Well, I have the factory one in the back. In oh, the you truck. do. Oh. He gave me a bunch of stuff, but um, here. I'll open the trunk. Look how nice the trunk is. Yeah. Look, even yeah. got the factory spare tire. It's got the, um, there's the wheel. I don't know if that was the same one you had or you had no, the wood. No, mine had the wood grain. Okay. Yeah. Cross there, but Bumper hey. guards he included. Yeah. The, a jack spare tire, like from the factory. It even has the stickers on how to do it. Yeah. The sound of that key turning in that lock like yeah. that and that opening, those are sounds we don't hear anymore. 
and cars. No, no, you it's don't. It's so weird. It like brings back all this, all these memories. Like, what's under the what hood, man? What's like? under the hood? Got the cal induction. I love that. That's the best part. Well, right there. do you remember how to pop the hood? Heck no. You don't? No, I don't remember, Nick. That's 50 years ago. <laughs> 50 years ago. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll give you a, a free pass. 50 years. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, man. 454. Oh, yep. my God. Yep. Jeez. What did yours have, Gary? 396. 396. Yeah, three, 375 horsepower. This is 425 horsepower. Wow. Yep. Man, look at that. That's nice. Look at all that room you got to work in that thing. Man, mm -hmm. look at that. Beautiful. So mm. it's a just a, it's a brand new crate engine he just put in. It, was, it, it has about two thousand miles on it. Wow. The car's actually very quiet because he has the factory exhaust system. He did give me a whole new exhaust to put on the car that's a little louder. Chamber he never exhaust. Put on. Yeah, chamber exhaust in mine. That's what it. I think that's what he gave me. Yeah. Well, let me show you here inside real quick. It might be kind of tight for you, but <laughs> <laughs> let me see the key. Where's the key at? <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Sounds pretty good though. Yeah. Shakes just like mine did, boy. Yep. Boy, that's really beautiful. I can't. Okay, you can come so up how here. did you find a red one? Like I, seriously, I, how did I, you find a red one? I told one? everybody in my last video. By the way, you, I did both these videos in one day, so you'll be able to see the reveal video in like a few days, and then you'll be able to see this video. Okay. I couldn't do it if I put a reveal video out. You guys would have seen it since you watched oh, my stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's true. So, you know, yeah. yeah, so I had to do these videos in the same day, so it was a surprise. We go for a ride? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, they, they latch in there. They... I don't remember mine being like that. Yep. I remember. Of course, back then we didn't wear seat belts. <laughs> God, yeah. Yeah, man, bring back a lot of memories. Woo. Just sit in my car, watch that needle gas gauge go down. Great time to open that cal induction up and just the gas gauge with gas gauge down. truck go, go down. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't easy on gas, but gas was cheap back then, so yeah, that's not as cheap nowadays. But yeah, 35 cents a gallon back well, then. What did you put it at 93? Yeah, I use high tide. I use high test, whatever that was. I forget. So do you remember the vents right here? Yeah. That you would open up? Yep. Was it like a, it was an outside air or something? Yeah, that's all it is. That's what it was? Yeah. I had an eight track, eight track player in my car right there, where, right underneath the deck, right underneath the oh, compartment. Yeah. I had it mounted. Here at this eight tracks. Yeah, just take it down. Take it down Dairy Street to Sheets. Still got your turn signal on. Oh, sometimes it won't. If you don't do a no, full turn. Full turn, yeah. Yep. Everything's mechanical in these cars. Nothing's electronic. There's no sensors. Just all, all mechanical. Right. It's a car. It's a good car. So I have the gas tank on the right side. That side. No. You don't remember where the gas Hell is? Hell no. No. Well. Oh, it's in the back. No. No. Wait. Where is the gas tank? Behind the license plate. That's right. Behind remember? the license plate. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yep. The matter. fuel tank's right back there, right under the. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you go. Yeah, go right here. Make that turn? Yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. Alright, fill her up, head back. Oh, yep. Nothing opens or shuts easy in no. these cars. No, my So I don't know, I didn't really tell you much about this, but I looked at two other cars before this. Went to actually see them and was gonna buy them, and I looked at various ones online. And the first car that I actually looked at was more of a crimson, like darker brown red. I don't, yeah. I don't even know how to explain the color. Yeah. That car was a like an 11 trophy show car, but I'll be honest, like this could be up there too. He had a 400 small block in his. Oh yeah. Yeah. I was actually gonna buy that car, and it wasn't my favorite. It wasn't the best color. Like I just right. wasn't in love with the color. I was right. like, whatever, I'll change it. But he ended up the Friday before, which is last weekend. The Friday he actually told me he didn't want to sell it. I had everything set to buy it, <laughs> and he told me we want to sell it. Yeah, it was cheap and it was a steal. So then I went back to my original car that I looked at was Hugger Orange with black rally stripes like this. Yeah, and. I actually drove to Maryland last weekend to go buy it and I showed up to this place and the car was 
horrible. Oh, your the tool? doors didn't even shut. Uh, Jesus. The, the engine was leaking oil and coolant. There was rat shit in the trunk yeah. of the car. There was spider webs. It was just like, it, the owner of the car wasn't even there. And I'm like, all right, this just seems weird. I ended up driving the car and picking it up or, or not even getting it, like driving all the way three hours there and back. But then I found this car on Monday last week. I thought I was gonna have to take like take another month or so to find a car, but it just happened. So, but where was this car at? Was it? I mean, was it at a dealership or where was it? Is so it? this car was actually in New York. That was a fun, real fun treat, driving through New York what? Uh, with the trailer because I took picked this car up yeah. with the trailer yeah. and <laughs> I couldn't go through the Holland Tunnel, so I had to go around the Holland Tunnel. That put us an hour behind our schedule then it wouldn't let me it was trying to take me under certain bridges or like under under overpasses where the clearance was seven foot ten inches and my trailer was higher than that so I couldn't go any route anyway like that right. and then it ended up putting us another half hour out of the way but it was funny during this drive to New York there's a cop that actually watched my videos. He drives up behind me and I'm like, oh man, this guy's gonna pull me over. I don't know for what reason, I don't know. But he drove up behind me and then got in the left lane and went beside me. And he's like, I like your videos, put his thumbs up. I was like, oh, thank you. I'm lost, I need help. <laughs> so we pulled over and uh, got out of the car and we were talking about everything. And you know, of course I told him what I was doing and he ended up getting me out of there and told me to take 495 all the way to avoid all the bridges and whatnot. Was so, a state trooper or what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it was just regular police. I don't think he was a state trooper. Yeah. I didn't see anything like that. He ended up helping me do a U-turn like and he like stopped traffic so I could do a U-turn to get back on the highway. Right. It was funny. So we're trying to get to Calverton to pick up a car and we can't go anywhere because there because of the height restriction because the trailer is over eight feet tall and, the, and this cop starts following us. And he pulls up next to us. He's like, yo, watch your videos. He, Nick is like, I don't know where to go. He's like, pull over, I'll help you out. Bro. <laughs> now he's giving us a space to do a U-turn. Like, dude, what a G. Like, bro, look at that. <laughs> it literally says no U-turn and he stops traffic for us. <laughs> That guy's name was Kyle, so yeah. Thanks, Kyle, for helping me out there. So yeah. So now, when you when you saw this car, did you just see pictures of it, or I mean, sometimes it's hard to tell I from pictures. A, there was a hundred some photos of this car right. online, and then a video, entire walk around. Oh, and video too. All the weather stripping seals pretty well. Yeah. So if I do have to wash the actual the car, right? You know, I, I I can and not have to worry about it leaking. I might take it on the turnpike, like if I take it to CSP. I hate to always put this car in a trailer. Like that's not what it's that's not what I want. I want to drive yeah. it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you got a brand new engine. <laughs> it's just like only got two thousand miles yeah, on it. Yeah, I know. It's barely broken in. For it's God's not sense. broken in, yeah. yeah. My car was my I my mine was geared real low. I mean I I could if I would step on the gas, like say if I if I got on it like this yeah. from the start. Every time it shifted, it would go, you could, it would lay rubber. Oh, yeah, because it would shift hard. Yeah, yeah it would shift hard, yeah. Yeah, it was, man, it was crazy. You had to manually shift yours, though. It just said one, two, three, right? Yeah, just like this here, yeah. yeah. I, this, could, I mean, if I was starting in first gear and I'd throw it up a second, you could, yeah. it would, it would, it would, it would, it would, it would catch rubber. Easy. Yep. Did it bring back memories? Yes. Good memories, yep. Too many memories. <laughs> I was telling Nick we were at the, we were at the gas station. We were getting gas, and I said, Nick, where's the gas tank? Where's which side's the the door for the gas? He said, Don't you remember? I said, No. I said, I think I might have been in the back. Because mm -hmm. you know, back then we never pumped our own gas. We didn't know. We, no, no, we didn't pump our own yeah. gas. Oh yeah, under the license plate. Because yeah, we oh never got God. out of the car. We sat yeah. in the car. We never and, got out so of the car. We never filled our own no, cars. No, we sat up. in yeah. the car and they they pumped our gas. They wiped our windows checked off. Oil. They checked our oil and. Yep. And they did it in spiffy uniforms. Not yeah. so much now. No, no. Even when we went to, now you we, gotta go we to were going New through New Jersey. New Jersey, New Jersey. New Jersey yeah. you can get that you done. Yeah. Your own gas in New Jersey, yeah. Yeah. Want me to get your picture and send it to all your friends? Here, take, take my part. picture here. Now I told dad that it's it's not just mine, it's our car. So dad can come and drive it whenever he wants. Oh, really? That? Remember yeah. that? What he says now. I'm, wait a minute, wait. <laughs> when I go get the car, it'll be empty. I'll have to fill it up. 
Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. time I'll make nope. sure it's empty so you down. can fill it up. <laughs> he bought a 68 Camaro and like two months later we saw this car at the same dealership. I mean my 69 and I bought that like two months later <clears> and took pictures but so he, he has some of his car, but I don't have money in my car. I know we have to see if we can find them somewhere. I, he has one with my car, like they were taken together. And you can see this much of my car right here. Yeah. The rest was his car. They got to be around somewhere. I don't know where they're at though. Yeah. Well, see now you, uh, now you can have all the pictures I take from this That's car because right. it's technically your car too. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean now you got these here. You know, <laughs> God, it's so easy to take pictures nowadays. In the meantime, we'll have, to, <laughs> we'll have to get the other exhaust put on. Yeah, that's right. See what it sounds like. Yep. Next order of business. Yep. Heard it from dad first. Alrighty, so I don't know about you guys, but I think my dad liked it a lot. I think you'll be seeing him more in the videos with the car, uh, depending on what gets done to it. First thing probably will be the exhaust, like you heard it from him. I think that's the first thing I'm gonna do is just put that exhaust system on and see if it makes it any louder, if it sounds any better or whatever. So I do plan on switching over to fuel injection instead of uh, keeping the carburetor. I know Holly, makes um, a fuel injection system for like an old school big block like that. It actually looks like a carburetor, so it has the same filter, but it's fuel injected. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing, especially if I'm gonna be driving it as much as I plan on. Uh, I don't really plan on doing it like once every week or once every other week. I plan on driving it at least a few times a week as long as the weather's nice. I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos with it. Uh, next video will probably be with Lauren because at this point in time, she still hasn't really rode in the car yet or even I mean she saw it uh, you didn't really see that on video a reaction from her but we're gonna be taking the car out she'll be riding along and maybe I'll let her drive it too and then after that video I'll do the exhaust and in the meantime still waiting for some parts for the freedom rocket so once those come in you guys are getting an update video of that we're still shooting for like an end of February or beginning of March completion date and the car should be running in March and then racing in April. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. If you're coming here for the first time, definitely hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. And as always, have a great day.